Well, thank you for coming to meet the Drapers. Give us your pitch. Hi, uh, my name is Paul Gamble, and I'm a co-founder and CEO of Nori. And we're on a mission to reverse climate change. And I was curious, why was no one building a business around actually trying to solve climate change? Mining and burning trillions of tons of hydrocarbons here and running this crazy chemical experiment on the atmosphere. Very unusual and a very, very extreme threat, as you can see. The economic value of fixing it seemed unlimited and obvious to me. I've also been involved in the blockchain space since 2010, and last year's introduction of ICOs and the idea of token economics was exhilarating to be a part of. And so last summer, I left my consulting job and along with six other people founded Nori, a blockchain-based marketplace that makes it easier for people to pay other people to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So wait, how does it work? Why do I buy the token and why do other people use the token? And We're connecting uh, suppliers, so these are people who remove carbon dioxide. These might be farmers, entrepreneurs running startups, with buyers. How do you remove carbon? On the ecological side, you can plant trees, everyone's familiar with that. One of the most amazing uh, methodologies is called soil sequestration. American croplands store how do you get one billion the CO2 tons of from the air into the soil. So it's by changing farming practices, using uh, crop rotations and leaving cover crops uh, in the soil. Soil that cover they're using. Crops. What are cover crops? You can either add additional species into the, like in between the growing lanes, and you leave the stubble. So after you harvest whatever crop you're growing, you just leave it. Oh. And what that does is that encourages more microbial growth, so more bacteria in the soil, and that's where the CO2 comes from. So farmers like it for that reason? Farmers like it for that. It also produces better crop yields in the long run, so this is a profitable business for them. What are the obstacles? When you switch to these methods, Methods, you start to see a slightly lower crop yield for a brief period of time and then it comes back up because you have to rebuild the right. quality of your topsoil. Tell me a little bit more about the tokens. Have you have you done an ICO? Have you? We, we haven't done this yet because we've been working on the economics of this for six months. It's a, it's a complex challenge. The way that this market works is buyers who are for example, corporations who want to negate emissions in their supply chain, individuals who want to make a difference, energy utilities, and so on. They use our token, and the buyer purchases that certificate and then is immediately retired so that it can never be resold. Corporations are already most familiar with buying what are called carbon offsets. These aren't exactly the same thing as offsets because those include things such as avoided emissions, and we're only focused on removing what's already up there. Tell me a little bit about your personal background. My background is in computer engineering, and management. Where'd you get your engineering degree? I went to Arizona State University for my undergraduate and then Duke University for my master's in engineering management. Is anyone else doing this besides you guys? There are startups that are working on different methods of carbon removal, but no one is doing it at the level that we're at, where we're building the infrastructure to make this all possible. There is no other team in the world who could do what we do. Our CTO built the photos and videos teams at Facebook. We have the world's leading expert on carbon markets and carbon removal contracts on our team. And one of our advisors, Klaus Lackner, pioneered the concept of direct air capture. Collectively, we have more experience in the carbon removal space than anyone else. Vish, do you have any How much yeah. money have you raised so far, and how much money are you looking for? We're completely bootstrapped right now. We are selling our tokens, raising the $1.07 million through the regulations. $1.07? <laughs> yes. That's the maximum allowed by the SEC. On the show? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we have a limit. We can't raise right. more than a million dollars for any <laughs> one. I have learned more than I ever wanted to know about SEC regulations in the last year. Right. We all have. Yeah. This has been the biggest year for the SEC <laughs> yeah. regulations. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, um, uh, very ambitious plan, actually. And, Thank you. Um, and, uh, but you know, my, my question is also my fear. This is going to take you so much money. Have you thought of that? What could really go wrong with this business? The goal is that we're providing financial incentives incentives for people to, to do this. And for farmers, that's a pretty straightforward thing because farmers work on very thin margins. Yes. And we're talking about being able to provide more than 10% of what their expectation is in revenue per acre. So this is like yeah. a private cap and trade. Cap and trade yeah. is different because the governments issue free allowances. And these allowances really distort the price signals in the markets. Right. And so we're what we're making is our token. It's 
a different psychology. Yes, but it, it is. still could eliminate the need for a cap and trade. It absolutely it. could, and that, and that would really be our goal. It's a market-driven price on carbon dioxide, and economists have been saying this is what we need for decades to solve this problem, and we're going to provide that. Terrific. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming to meet Thanks very much for having me. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I guess my, my pitch went well. Tim asked me if I had been through an accelerator before, which I hadn't, especially with his background and interest in cryptocurrencies and blockchain. I think he immediately understood ab about the token and how that works. I forgot to mention that our podcast is called Reversing Climate Change. <laughs> so that people can find that. The, the Drapers are really knowledgeable about figuring out what they need to know about an industry. They ask some pretty insightful questions that will give them insight into whatever it is that the entrepreneur is building. If you're interested in taking action and having agency to do something about climate change, you can buy the Nori token like coupons. You can use them to pay for removing carbon dioxide yourself. You have that power now. And now it's up to our judges. But actually, it's really up to you because you can vote online at meetthedrapers.com and you can invest. There's no other show in the world that allows you to invest, but you can invest. With that, I'd like to ask our guest judge, Vish, what did you think? I like, uh, you know, his ambition. So if he can narrow it down to maybe corporate farmers, don't go after all the farmers. You go for the major corporations who are the big farmers in the U.S. because they will get it. He made it seem very simple and clear. Put in a token, you get rid of, you You get personally rid can a, get rid of this of carbon. That makes carbon. me feel so good. Yeah. Plus, he seemed like a really super smart guy who had thought of every angle. This is a guy who, you know, he, he dug into the SEC. He figured all this stuff out. He was ready to go. He created this token. He's made the token make some sense. Yes, it actually exactly. could end up yeah. having a network around yeah. it. So I was thinking, wow, this is pretty good. I, I'm, the one concern I might have is, it, it, does this make sense to a farmer? I'm with Polly. I think he explained pretty well why it would be attractive to a farmer. Yeah. Intelligent guys and total commitment to a problem that all of us understand is one of the biggest problems in humanity. I am all for backing this person. Me too. Okay, well, let's go to the crystal ball. Here's what we do, Vish. Okay. We look at the crystal ball and we uh, say, Crystal ball, yeah, I crystal you ball, <laughs> nori. So once you've sort of felt the power of the crystal ball, <laughs> you get a vibe. And now what we do is we vote. Thumbs up, up. thumbs down, down. thumbs down. all around. Down. Boom. Mine was up because I kind of like. Yeah, I liked where this guy uh, was mine's going. Way up. That, that was interesting. And you, the audience, you can decide. Do you want to vote up? Do you want to invest? We've got Nori, and you've got an opportunity for Nori.